So. So I just had this weird idea for a video, and I'm not even sure if it's really going to work, but um, it's never stopped me before. So the idea is sort of simple, really. I thought what I could do is I could scroll through the camera roll on my phone and then stop on a random picture or video or whatever it might be, and then I will make my video about that picture or video or whatever piece of media it is. I mean, it's only going to be one of those two things. I suppose it could be a screenshot, but... Um, yeah, so let's give it a go. Which way do I scroll? Okay, I've got to go that way. Right, I'll look away. What about that one? What's going on? What's going on there? <laughs> right, that's quite a good one, actually. That's me and my family, um, and we're in, the, uh, we're in the mountains there, in a ski chalet. So uh, let me talk to you about this picture. Let's go. So first things first, when was this picture taken? Well, this particular picture was actually taken on the 11th of February, 2019. My birthday, my 30th birthday. This photo was taken in France, or more specifically, the French Alps. And the other thing I want to talk about in this photo is the weird fisheye effect that's going on. Now, if anyone was to visit me and Charlie in this apartment, it wouldn't take them long to realize that we like skiing. We've worked two separate ski seasons as a couple, one in 2017 and the other in 2019, when this photo was taken. In fact, some of the OGs on this channel may have seen some of my videos in France, like this one here, which I put up last year, where I tell the story of how I nearly killed a guy on my first ever skiing trip with Charlie. Um, not proud of that one. <laughs> Context is everything, and the context here is that Charlie is from a skiing family, and I am not. That is to say that Charlie's sister is a ski instructor, Charlie's dad is a very keen skier, Charlie's mum has a ski business, they are skiing fanatics, whereas my family have never really been on a ski holiday. Me and my sisters had been on school trips, but before I met Charlie, I hadn't done an awful lot of skiing at all. I know you've only just got in from work, <laughs> but... How would you describe my skiing ability the first time we went skiing? Uh, definitely mixed. Mixed. Um, <laughs> That's quite polite. <laughs> uh, probably on the um, erratic side of shit. things. You're trying to say shit. Yeah. And what fairly. about what about what about now? Uh, much much better now. Safe. Safe. Improved. <laughs> Safe and improved. I'll take that. So yeah, the skiing experience in my family is limited, but my family decided what better excuse to go to the mountains and give skiing a good proper go than my 30th birthday. So in February 2019, that's exactly what they did. Now, unfortunately, this isn't the best of pictures because the sunlight is coming in from behind me, but who's actually in this photo? Well, the person in the middle is actually me. It's hard to believe because of the sunlight coming in from behind me, it's hard to tell, but yes, that's me. Now, the people on the left of the photo, that is my sister and her fiance. Now, my sister's fiance didn't ski that much. He wasn't much of a ski. He tried it on the first day, decided it wasn't for him, decided to chill out in the chalet, which was what my mum also chose to do. But my sister, she had been skiing on school trips and she did come out with us. And the person on the right hand side of the photo is my dad, who had also been skiing on school trips in the 70s. So <laughs> he wasn't that good. But look at that view, there is no way you can. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, there's sort of a sub story to this photo and it's the weird 
fisheye effect. Now, the thing that's going on there is, is for my birthday, I asked for a fisheye moment lens for my phone. And if anyone doesn't know what moment lenses are, basically you get this special case for your phone and it allows you to put different lenses on your phone. This one being a fisheye lens. And I was convinced at the time that this was going to change the way that I film. So I asked my sisters for this for my birthday and I have used it in zero video since then. It's been over two years. So uh, there's probably a lesson there about not needing gear or just, I don't know. I just thought I'd mention it because it's part of the photo. I didn't choose the photo. Now, I think I've said this a few times on the channel, but I actually have three younger sisters. I'm the oldest of four children. And unfortunately at the time, one of those sisters was living in New Zealand. But if I'd have stopped a picture sooner, you'd have seen this picture, which has also got the fisheye lens. My sister that was in the last picture is there. This person here is also my sister and this is one of her friends and they all had, you know, varying skiing experience. But the problem wasn't their skiing ability. The problem was that their first day of skiing, the weather was atrocious. Fortunately, we had a handy and totally not annoying call to make sure that everyone was okay. Hey! Hey! But the weather didn't dampen our spirits and we had a good time. Now the trip was only short, there wasn't really very many days of actual skiing, but we did get one clear sunny day and it was a brilliant day. And that is the story of that photo, which in turn turned out to be the story of how my family came to visit me in France on my 30th birthday whilst I was working a ski season out there. And here's a really odd bit of serendipity, and I promise you this isn't planned. I genuinely didn't know what photo that was going to stop on, but the day I bring this out is actually my sister's 30th birthday. So I want to say happy birthday, Rebecca. And I also want this video to be the story of how we make sure that we celebrate her 30th in style as soon as this lockdown is over. So happy birthday, Rebecca. And that's going to be the case. But what did you think of that video? Did you like that? Did you enjoy the sort of random photo storytelling? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, yeah, I think it turned all right, didn't it? Yeah, it was all right. I don't think it was too bad. It feels like it's finally time to use the, the fisheye lens, but um, I don't really have anything exciting to do, so here's me dancing. doing no one's ever going to take me seriously this is ridiculous what the hell